Hey guys, so um, I'm not going to hold it against you if you don't watch this video, because this video is genuinely depraved. It's vile. It's vile. It really is vile. It's some of the worst things I've ever... Well, read. not the well, worst. Well, no, I've read worse. I've read worse, but this is p- pretty much peak, in my opinion, yeah. for anything that I've put on this. So buckle in your seatbelts, boys, because the cringe train is coming. Choo-choo! <laughs> chucka, 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 chucka. Neighbor shits in bag and leaves them outside. My family had bought a house in the city a few blocks from our business about a year ago. We are in Pennsylvania. Everything seemed lovely until we realised the house next door is owned by a slumlord. The dude who lives on the first floor is awesome. The second floor is a mess. The original second floor tenant was an older woman who seemed nice enough. She ended up passing away due to an overdose. The what? Next, the next person to move in is a train wreck. He's so wasted all the time that he continuously falls up and down the stairs, which is fine, it doesn't bother me. Weirdly enough, the worst part about him is that there's always a waft of shit smell coming from his house and yard. Yesterday he puts a white trash bag full of human shit out on his front porch. You can clearly see the shit through the bag. What? Today, I, no, no, don't. I, I don't even want to know. Today it's swarming with flies <laughs> and smells horrid. I have two small children and I'm worried about this being some kind of health hazard. We can't sit in our patio without smelling and seeing this dude's mess. I also loathe flies. Is there anything I can do aside from setting up a fly deterrence around my house and lighting candles? <laughs> Honestly, look, this is why you just don't live in cities. No. I, I couldn't live in cities. I couldn't live in a city. I couldn't... Just knowing that people like this... live in a like, city in America? Y- y- you know, what upsets me the most is, you know, finally, people like this do exist. Yeah. The population's too dense. And this, like, like you know, like that, that's what gets me the most. This, you know, this isn't even, like, one of those bullshit made-up ones. Everyone stood up and clapped. Oh, no, no, this is fully true. I believe this. I believe this. I believe this. I that's what makes it sad. Yes. Next so, post. yeah, let's get into the next one, will we? These fucking titles. Ejaculated on my grandmother's face. <laughs> Why are people... This is, that's got to be one of the worst sins I've ever came across. One night when I was 13 or 14 years old, my grandmother had came to visit us. She slept in my bed and I slept on the couch. At this point in my life, pretty much every night, I would wait for everyone to go to sleep and then I would jack off. Even though I was on the couch, I still decided to do it. For some reason, in my horned up state, oh god, I got really turned on by the idea of ejaculating on my grandmother's face. How does this come to mind? Why does that turn you on? Why? How do you even imagine this? How do you think, like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking shit, I'm gonna fucking shit something. Oh my god. No. Like, I know, like, teen boys are bad, but, I like, know. Jesus I, Christ, I, I know, leave I, Granny alone. I know there weren't machines, but, like, you know... Leave Granny alone. Jesus. So, without really thinking, I went into the room, and while she was still asleep, I quietly jacked off next to her and then finished on her cheek-slash-neck area. Oh. After I finished, oh. I left as quickly and as quietly as I could and went back to the lounge room. I have no idea if she knows what I did, this happened a decade ago, and I still hate myself every time I think about it. Good, you should. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, you should fucking hate yourself. Poor granny. That's vile. That's really bad. I think this has got to be one of... This is the worst Kimmer we've that ever... That is so bad. That is so bad. I wish I could have more words to actually talk about this. Yeah. But I really don't, because... I, I, I have nothing to compare it to. There's nothing to compare to. The only other thing I can compare to is like when we do shit like this, like camera stuff. It's normally just people getting carried away. They're like, "Oh yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna fucking enjoy what I enjoy, and I'm yeah. gonna sit there and I'm gonna make yeah. you watch it." But, but this, this is, is depraved. Th- this is fucking beyond depraved. Uh huh. A next post. Yeah, yeah. Let's just keep going. The bull is HIV positive. I've been rock hard since I found out. I talked to my wife, and she promised that she'd always be wearing a condom. That he'd always be wearing a condom? My wife? Yeah, sure. Look at look, my look, wife is look, 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 look where it comes from. Cuckold community. Oh, right. My wife is currently pregnant and the idea that only a thin bit of latex prevents his supercharged Ugh. paused load from infecting my wife and her baby is the most erotic thing ever. Thoughts? Honestly, people like this should be just... No, they shouldn't be allowed into society at all. Um, I, I I could say an awful lot more, but I I don't think I'd be right on YouTube for any for any longer. I, I think this is honestly one of the most depraved and disgusting things. It is. I, I wish I I wish I could unhear it. Yeah, that is horrendous. There's not 
many times in my life I'm speechless. But holy good shit. I don't know, guys. What 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 is it that makes? There's a what, lot of silence what, in this video because I don't even know what to say. What, I don't know what, what, to what, what, it. what brings someone to this point? What brings someone that this is this is how they want their lives to be? be? That you, oh you know what's good? What? I'm gonna let a guy with HIV fuck my pregnant wife. Well, she's just as bad. Well, obviously, if she's letting it happen. I've got no words. <laughs> Guys, it's okay if you didn't want to watch this video. I, I don't blame you. I don't you. blame you. Like, you know, this is, uh, this is fucking post. vile. <laughs> <laughs> I successfully deep-throated a dildo for the first time. I'm a straight male. <laughs> <laughs> look, <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> look, that's fine. Look, me, look, this is also, be honest with you. See this? This is actually nothing on the other. No, this is this, this absolutely is, uh, nothing. This is actually bad. It's like, look, see if you want to, you can do whatever the fuck you like with that. Are you curious? Do it. Who cares? Look, I, uh, so a few weeks ago, I ordered a dildo on Amazon to use on my girlfriend. I really wasn't quite sure what to expect. And when it showed up, it was a lot more wiggly than I expected. <laughs> so I had a lot of fun waving it around. After I did that for a bit and tried and failed to do a bottle flip style thing to have it oh, suction on the counter. Oh, it's like one of those ones where you see the videos where boys like fucking, fucking up the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got to wondering how, ca- how far I could take it in my mouth. Girls do it all the time. It couldn't be that hard. Ha ha. I was- ha ha in brackets. In brackets. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I get Yeah, I get you. Don't you worry. I was quite disappointed in the results. Like three or four inches. I told my girlfriend about it and she thought it was funny, then tried herself and only made it an inch or two further than I could. For some reason, this sparked my competitive side. (laughs) Couple goals. (laughs) For for the past few weeks, I've been brushing my tongue every day, moving a bit further back each time. About an hour ago, I decided to try it out again and see if I could actually deep throat this dildo to a respectable degree. And I took the entire thing. <laughs> this seven and a half inch dildo. Jen, if you see this, I won. <laughs> well, I'm happy I, for him. Look, look, well look, done. look I'm, I'm happy for him. Like, you know, honestly, like, you know, like he's, he, th- this is just fucking, th- this is funny in my mind compared to it the other funny. post. Yeah. Like, you know, this this is this fine. Them other ones are fucking some of the most depraved things. I, I still can't get over the last couple posts. Yeah. Hey, guys. Do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do, too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do, too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties. Oni bitties. Cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. My family poops big. Maybe it's genetic. Maybe it's our diet. But everyone births giant logs of crap. If anyone has laid a mega poop, you know that sometimes it won't flush. It lays across the hole in the bottom of the bowl and the vortex of draining water merely gives it a spin as it mocks you. (laughs) Growing up, this was a common enough occurrence that our family had a poop knife. It was an old rusty kitchen knife that hung on a nail in the laundry room, only to be used for that purpose. It was normal to walk through the hallway and have someone call out, Hey, can you get me the poop knife? I thought it was a standard kit. You have your plunger, your toilet brush, and your poop knife. Fast forward to 22. It's been a day or two between poops and I'm over at a friend's house. My friend was the local dealer and always had guests over. Because you can't buy weed without sitting on your ass and sampling it for an hour, (laughs) I excuse myself and lay a gigantic turd. I look down and see that it's sideways one. Oh no. So I crack the door and call out for my friend. He arrives and I ask him for his poop knife. My what? Your poop knife, I say. I need to use it, please. What the fuck is a poop knife? Obviously he has one, but maybe he calls it by a more delicate name. A fecal cleaver? (laughs) (laughs) No, I need to be sure. That's a a fucking magic item right there. A fecal cleaver. (laughs) A fecal cleaver? A dung divider? A guano cleave? I explain what it is that I want and why I want it. He starts giggling, then laughing. (laughs) Then lots of people start laughing. 
It turns out the music stopped and everyone heard my pleas through the door. <laughs> it also turns out that no, that not one of them had a pip knife. It was just my fucked up family with their fucked up bowels. <laughs> Fuck my life. I told this to my wife last night, who was amused and horrified at the same time. It turns out she did not know what a pip knife was and had been using the old rusty knife hanging in the utility closet as a basic utility knife. Thankfully, she didn't cook with it, but used it to open Amazon boxes. She'll be getting her own utility knife now. Um, Edit. Common question. Why was this not in the bathroom instead of the laundry room? Answer. We only had one pip knife and the laundry room was central to all three rooms. I have no idea why we didn't have three pip knives. All I know is that we didn't. We had the one. Possibly because my father was notoriously cheap <laughs> about the weirdest things. So yes, we shared our pip knife. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like, okay, if there's one way to end the video, I think that's actually... <laughs> I feel better now. Yeah. I actually feel like that was a nice... I like that. That, that was almost wholesome in a sense. Yeah. <laughs> that was compared like, to the other ones. Compared to the other ones, that was almost fucking wholesome. The pimp knife was wholesome. <laughs> um, I mean, like, yeah, it's bizarre. It's weird. Bizarre as fuck, but like, um, look, family bonding. I've, ne- I've, I've never... <laughs> I've never experienced the need personally for Neither me. Have I? Um, have any of you guys ever experienced the need? <laughs> well, who, have you, you know what? You, you know what makes me think about it? It's like, how did this first come into being? Like, how big was the shit? How the, big? The, yeah. No, no, right. Like, okay, was it so, like the width of your arm? No. So the shit must have come about, right? And they must have thought, how do, how do we I do get this away? And the th- and the thought that comes to mind is like, like let's fucking chop that shit chop. up. <laughs> Literally <laughs> chop, chop that, that shit, shit up. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, obviously it's too big. We need to make it into smaller pieces. <laughs> we need we need a we need a quarter of that shit at least. <laughs> what do you do? Do you have to wipe it down after? How do you do? You just use twirl? Or do you just let the the water run over it and just flush? <laughs> Oh so what would you guys say would be the worst video or the worst story? I would say the cuckold one. Is no, the, I would I would say the grandmother. The grandmother is fucking depraved as well. Mm-hmm. Um, both of them are genuinely dreadful. Yeah. What would you guys say? And is this something that you guys want to experience more of? Because I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to. <laughs> if but be if honest you want you, it, there's... It's the, the internet. There's plenty the internet. of stories There's plenty like there. more stories like this. It was just, you know what it was? It's because we haven't done like a Sonic Cheese style video yeah. or, you know, like a just cringe video in a yeah. while. And I've, I've had these video, these threads sitting there for... Yeah. And hey, it's the weekend. Let's cringe together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So look, I don't blame you if none of you guys watched, watched it. it. Cause but like I would have clicked off personally if I was you. But look, as you guys know... This video is most definitely not monetized. Yes, so, so if you check could, out the links. Check out the links. It does help us out a lot. It does let us do more videos like this, you know? Because, mm-hmm. you know, I, I like doing stuff like this a bit different well, from time to time. if I like doing it or not. <laughs> depends on how bad the story is, to be honest with you. Hit but- subscribe as well and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. Check all the links down check below. Check all the links. Facebook, Instagram. All that good all that shit. shit. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. All those moments lost in time.